we have uh, kind of expanded the Wednesday edition of Central Valley Talk into the 5 o'clock hour, so that's why we're uh, with you this evening. So thanks for hanging out. Hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Austin Reed on Air. And we are live right now at centralvalleytalk.com, plus on all our social media and streaming networks. And our uh, final guests today, joining us live in our Tower District studios, uh, these guys drove in, or drove down from Oakhurst, uh, the owners of Pedal Forward. Tell everybody your name. Start with you. I'm Mike Broderick. Hey, Mike. I'm Jorge Negretti. Jorge, good to meet you. Welcome, guys. Thank thanks you. for coming on. You. Your first you. time on the show. Yes. Yeah. Right? Indeed. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having us. So um, let's start with the, the very beginning. How long has Pedal Forward uh, been serving o- Oakhurst and the you know mountain communities? So it's September of 2020. So, yeah, oh, so we, you guys are still pretty new. Very yeah. new. Yeah. Wow, okay. Yeah, we opened um, when the Creek Fire was raging in the middle of the global pandemic. Oh, that's right. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, uh, we are uh, refugees from the hotel business, so we got furlough in our hotel uh, that we were working on oh. so um, that was around 2020 March mm-hmm. and then we right started thinking the, about right at the, when the pandemic yes started. exactly yeah. Yeah. so yeah. then uh, Mike and I were looking into do something that the community needs and the mm-hmm. a bike shop was really something that mm-hmm. it was a need is sure. there yeah. is is there any other bike shop in Oakhurst not really okay. no no, Especially there's, a, there's a guy that used to have a place for quite some time. Uh-huh. He's kind of in retirement mode, working okay. out of his garage. Okay. So there was it's, definitely a that's need. More like word of mouth kind of. Yeah, no, I mean, you know, you, you can you can find him. It's uh-huh. just, uh, you know, our goal, um, we're both mountain bikers mm-hmm. and best friends and mountain biking buddies. So mm-hmm. we figured we'd combine our passion for riding with our, you know, with our career yeah and um yeah so yeah we opened the bike shop and uh, it's been uh, amazing we have a- when we're looking at it uh, here on the screen uh, you guys sent some uh, groovy pictures in yeah. so um walk us through these uh, obviously we earlier we were looking at the outside yeah. this is the uh inside and yeah. it's beautiful yeah yeah so it's a really unique shop i mean we our goal is to be the best bike shop in california so we have all the coolest uh, apparel, gear, um, parts, you know, um, clothing, mm-hmm. and uh, a great assortment of um, bikes that we sell as well. I don't know if you want to talk a little bit about our brands. Yeah, we, we have uh, um, Niner Bikes, that is like a really boutique brand that they call it. Mm-hmm. You know, we start working with Ivis. Uh, we have Fox Racing, Fox Factory, uh, Bell Helmet, so different brands that uh, we as a mountain biker were looking at, you know, that um, that we know that they are high quality, that we use and we try it, and other friends that they, they also try it mm-hmm. and they know that mm-hmm. it's a good product. Yeah. And uh, also in the shop, uh, I, I, I think you saw like all those big maps. We provide information for tourists and people that are traveling through the area. For, I love that. Yeah. yeah, where you can hike and bike according with the different mm-hmm. levels that you have. Uh-huh. You know, like if you are a beginner, we, we have trails mm-hmm. that we can direct you how to uh, where to, where to go. And also, if you are really advanced downhill rider, uh, mm-hmm. uh, we we can show you where those where those trails are as well. Yeah. You know, I love I love your guys' story. You know, um, one of my best friends, uh, him and I have always talked about getting into business together. Mm-hmm. Problem is, he doesn't want to do broadcasting, so and <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. hard for me to to, to step out of broadcasting. Yeah, yeah. But um, for 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 you guys, mm-hmm. um, how cool is this to be? You know, years later working together. Yeah, no, it's it's great. You know, and. Um, we certainly have the business acumen mm-hmm. to to run a great shop and a great business and, and to expand that business. We're, we're not really just two dudes opening a bike shop. He's a former Peruvian Air Force pilot and capitan. Oh, wow. And uh, I'm a 30-year hotel executive. Right, uh, okay. Famous hotels. And, you know, we're doing a lot of unique things. Uh, Jorge, when we worked together, he was the environmental and safety manager. So okay. we probably want run one of the few zero waste bike shops in the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah. Um, yeah, we're 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 having a blast, and um, 
making amazing friends with with friends our customers. Like, exactly. We, yeah, they've transitioned from being customers to friends. That's awesome. We do shop rides and we oh we, wow go out riding different trails with people yeah. Okay. and um yeah it's it's pretty cool and we have you know a real uh detailed business plan for growth and expansion right. and as an example uh we're um working on our permitting with yosemite for our guided hikes and we're going to do okay. uh, biking bike tours and we have rentals as well so really leveraging our tourism expertise yeah. to um you know, grow that side of the business as well. So it's pretty cool. Talk, talk a little bit um, uh, more about the the advice. I, I love that aspect um, mm-hmm. because, uh, and, and even just what you, what you were saying, which I didn't know that you guys do, just the, you know the the group rides mm-hmm. and you know you know. Um, but but why is it so important to to not only sell a product but to offer help to somebody that wants your product, but maybe they can't buy it right now, but they can at least go to you guys for, you know. I mean, our, our goal in general is to um, really just get people out pedaling, regardless mm-hmm. of the kind of bike and what their budget is. So we, you know, we really want to inspire people to take more adventure and to ride. So, you know, we have a lot of people asking us, where do I ride? You know, everything from, we'll get calls from people from Santa Cruz that are major riders and that ask us about, you know, tell us about the trails. And, you know, that's why we've developed a YouTube channel as well, where we have all the trails and all that stuff. But Jorge, do you want to expand on that? Well, we want to be a mountain bike destination too. We have really good quality trails, different Mm -hmm. terrains, you know, from high elevation pines, uh, woods, and also, like uh, granite rock mountains and hills and it goes all the way to dry terrain and foothills right so um uh the people that come to the shop they're looking for different experience you know mm-hmm. people that is traveling we have we have yosemite right there but also people that they're looking for something else just yosemite right um, a lot of locals are looking for these directions that uh, we are we are uh we we take the time to talk with them, explain them, um, and the, if they are available for the shop ride that we're doing that weekend, uh, they join us, you know, and uh, we take people from all the skill levels because we don't go, we're not racing, we take the time, we show them, you know, hey, this part of the trail is hard, you know, you better, you know, do it this way or you want to walk it. So it's uh, like how, how we start um, having friends and customers at the same time, you know, and, and like you said, uh, uh, somebody that can afford a bike or they are not ready to get a bike they can rent a bike from us because we also do yeah. bike rentals See, that's awesome and then wow. the other thing that is really interesting is when we sell a bike we ride with them and we and they test the bike that they bought from us you know and in the trails that we are taking them so yeah. it's yeah. really interesting and and you know for people um out there uh that don't realize how Oakhurst, just Oakhurst, how cool it is just there to ride. We have yeah. some beautiful areas um, all around the valley. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but I especially mean, up in the mountains, which is, you know, Oakhurst is everybody thinks so far. It's what? Uh, how long did it it's take like you guys to get 40 here? Minutes. Yeah, yeah, 40 minutes. Yeah, 40 minutes. So, yeah. But it's so beautiful up there. Yeah, yeah around there's Bass Lake, everywhere. there's world-class mountain bike trails mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. epic, epic rides, incredible experiences, as Jorge was mentioning. Riding on top of, there's a trail called Blind Squirrel, riding on top of a giant granite dome, and uh, it, it's it's unbelievable. So there's everything from, you know, some basic blue trails, kind of like skiing, to double black diamond, like um, Willow Creek, and so um, a lot to offer riders, and um, it's um, pretty cool. People are, as I mentioned, people are really blown away when they come to ride, and they're from other riding destinations. Right. They're like, I can't, I can't believe and this. And the, the area that we cover also, um, because we are part of Yosemite Southgate Trails, it's like a non-profit cooperative that they maintain the trails in the area, they clean it up, you know, and uh, also they develop trails in Shaver Lake. It covers from Fresno area, Shaver, Alburn, Norfolk, Oakhurst, mm-hmm. and some, some area in Mariposa as well. Mm-hmm. So that's a big, big uh, area that 
our 200 members cover and we try to do trail trail days uh -huh. and also um, we try to expand like the Shaver Lake area uh, Edison uh, give us a concession to be able to use um, some some area in early mountain so we are developing trails that, mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. so um, having the support of them is also really really important for this community with this area i mean you know it's not just community i'm still thinking that we are not cross but this is uh, yeah yeah <laughs> the entire area yeah, exactly yeah. Yeah. um you know spring obviously is coming up uh even though the groundhog <laughs> did see his shadow or did, he did not i don't he didn't oh he did he did see the shadow? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Regardless, I, don't know. I, 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 I do know whatever happened, he's he's saying that there's six more weeks of winter. Okay. So okay. regardless, that's only a month and a half right. from now. So uh, the spring is coming, nonetheless. Um, is this a good time uh, to for for people to, to check in with you guys and, and, and get ready for, you know, uh, I mean, warmer temperatures? I mean, it's a great time to get your bike serviced. Um you know, we we are a very busy shop, um, so we can turn things around a lot faster this time of year than other times of year. We're still really fast, but if someone, uh, this is a perfect time, get your bike in order. Um, you know, a lot of the, the riding community, they ride year round as much as possible. But, um, you know, this is the perfect time to get that annual tune up, something more major done to it for sure. Yeah. yeah. So people have the impression that we only do mountain bikes, but we fix everything with, with two wheels, you know, sometimes three wheels. Yeah. So we. Four. Yeah, four. Four wheels. <laughs> four wheels. <laughs> four wheels. Oh, yeah. 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 And uh, we, we, f we fix and give directions also for ro people that is doing road bikes, you know, and gravel bikes. We have so many fire roads up there and, and forestry roads that mm -hmm. people can get lost you know mm -hmm. in, in a beautiful area so we also provide that 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 type of service and now the spring is coming and the snow is melting um, definitely we have more options and more areas to to explore mm -hmm. yeah. um real quick uh you know, one of the craze uh, right one of the crazes right now uh, is electric bikes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, do you guys offer those or we can we can get electric bikes? We can, okay. um, we can order those. Okay. Uh, you know, the big challenge right now is just supply chain. Oh, I know. So we don't have any in stock right now, but okay. we can get them. Okay. Uh, everything from a high end enduro mm -hmm. mountain bike mm -hmm. full suspension mm -hmm. to you know just kind of a cruiser style. Mm -hmm. Okay type uh, e-bike yeah and we service those bikes also oh, like perfect. all the serv all the bikes any e-bike we can we can serve we can help help uh, the customer with uh, any warranty claim you know mm -hmm. we try to contact the manufacturer if something is wrong mm -hmm. and uh, we are service center for a couple of brands mm -hmm. that they are um, they are direct consumer uh, e-bikes mm -hmm. yeah yeah, I mean, our from the standpoint of service, our motto is we can fix anything but a broken heart. There you go. So if someone brings <laughs> yeah. it in. Not only can we fix bikes, we restore bikes. Oh, um, nice. If okay. you, on our YouTube channel, you can actually see a restoration of a 19... Uh, 80 Schwinn Cruiser, and it was a custom-made one. So oh, wow. we're talking super... Uh, we partnered with someone that does powder coating. Uh-huh. Guy who owns uh, Cherry Cycle Cycles. Art, Personal, yeah. Cherry Cycle Art, and uh, he's an incredible. He's like an artist, and um, so yeah. Regardless of the bike, and you know, one of the things that we wanted to make sure we did different than most bike shops is a lot of times people will come in, they'll bring in an older bike, and a lot of bike shops make people feel terrible. Oh, you know, that's a piece of junk. Why are you? And and we we're just here to get people pedaling and on on the bike. So. If someone doesn't have a lot of money, we'll take care of them. Um, if someone is wants to buy, you know, a ten thousand dollar mountain mm -hmm. bike, we can do that. So we have products, everything from little baby Strider bike yeah. up to a high end bike, and everything in between. Okay. Um, yeah. So you know, we, we we tell the customer we work with your budget according what is your budget, what are your expectations, what you want to ride. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We go from there and we give them directions. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, we've got about a minute left. Mm -hmm. Hours of operation and then your exact location mm -hmm. uh, and then website, Facebook, all that good stuff. Uh, whoever wants to take it. Yeah. We're at 40761 Highway 41, suite number four. Uh, we're just across the street from three new hotels and just past Smokehouse 41. 
And our winter hours oh, were open. Oh, yeah, those yeah. new ones. Yes. yes. Are those open now? Uh, two Couple of them are open. Two of them are yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, so I, yeah, I know exactly where you guys are. Yeah. And, and our winter, we're open, always open six days. Okay. In the winter, we're closed on Sundays. And in the summertime, we close on Tuesdays. Tuesdays. Cool. But, cool. Um, you know, our website, pedalfordbikes.com. You can see our hours. We have a online um, presence with the presence. YouTube, right? Yeah, yeah we have YouTube. Okay. Obviously, we have great social media, and we have an online store where you can see some of our products, not all of them. Okay, um, but um, yeah. So and we keep those uh, those times accurate. No, we don't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's for yes. sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you have to Google. Yeah. Matter of fact, we we, yeah. ha we modify our time uh, our hours for today because we're coming. Yes. Here. Oh, perfect. Yeah. See, that's awesome. Absolutely, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. We got to do that here. <laughs> Sometimes Absolutely. we just disappear, and and uh, that's that's awesome. I love it. Um, okay, uh, let's see. Um, there was something else I was going to ask, and now I just totally forgot. Um, oh yes, I want you guys to come back because mm -hmm. that would be fun to show that YouTube video mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. go into more detail about that. Oh yeah, the that one, the featured feature. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. That'd be fun yeah. just to pop it up and you can kind of walk us through it. Yeah, so. yeah. We are developing that series of um, yeah. you know features and how to ride those. That's so, awesome. Yeah. People love that. Yeah. People love that too. Yeah, so we have a lot of good content. Absolutely. All right, guys. Uh, thank you again. Good to meet you. Thank you. Yeah, thank we'll, you. we'll see you next time. All righty. All right. Bye. All right, everybody. Uh, that's going to do it for Central Valley Talk. I'm Austin Reed. Thank you for joining us. Have a great rest of your day. Uh, I am going to go. My, my wife apparently made me cake for my birthday, so I'm going to go have cake and work on uh, the Reed Report because that's due uh, to the station tomorrow. But I will be back tomorrow with Central Valley Talk Live for Thursday. We'll start at 11 a.m. In the meantime, have a great rest of your night.